So we are back with one more Python script for our members, to create a different kind of data comparison video. This time we are comparing the number of objects, like the number of tigers in various countries, and this data is coming from a simple Excel file, everything else is automated. We'll talk about a Python script that can convert your Excel file into this video, and you can customize various parameters as well. Please watch our previous tutorials for similar scripts that we published earlier. But before we run our script, we have to create a model like this, that we want to use in our data comparison video, and we have to keep this model under a specific collection like this. Now let's hide this collection, and to run our script, we have to open a text editor from here. If you are here for the first time, you may need to execute this first script that will install these two modules into your Blender version. Please remember that this script is essential only if you use an Excel file, it is not required if you use a CSV file, which we'll discover shortly. The link to this script is given in the video description, and you can watch the progress in the system console. You need to run this script only once for your machine, and once it is complete, we can remove this code and paste the actual script, which will convert our Excel data into a data comparison animation. We have shared this script with our members, but we need to make a few changes here. First we have to mention the name of the collection that contains our model object, or the tiger in this case, we need to mention that same name here. Then we have to enter our input file location, this has to be the Excel file that contains our data. And we have two more files here, these files are also included in our package. Now let's look at the format of the Excel file, because you need to prepare your input file in this specific format. Here we have the name for each of our data, like the country names. Then the actual data is present in this column, and remember that it must contain numerical values. Next we have the formatted data that will be displayed in place of the numericals, and in the last column, we have the location of our picture files that will be displayed for each data. You can also add as many rows as you need, there is no restrictions on the number of rows. You can either use this file directly with our Excel script, or you can save this file as a CSV file and use our CSV script. For that, open the Save As dialog box and then select the comma delimited CSV option from this list. It will create a CSV file which you can use with our script, and you don't need to install any additional modules in that case. Either way, you'll enter the name of the Excel or the CSV file here, and then we have some more fields based on the input file and the animation speed. This cluster pattern is an interesting field, it will give us two different types of distribution for the model objects, you can set this value as you need, let's go for option 1 for this first example. Then we have some more fields for the customization, just like our previous scripts, so let's now run this script. It can take some time to execute, and once complete, you'll see many such objects created by our script for the animation. Now is the time to go back to our viewport, and verify the result. So we can see that the animation is ready, with a suitable environment and a camera. You can further customize it for the look and feel, or you can directly render the scene and get an output like this. But we are using the same model or the same tiger for each of the data points in this example. Actually there are no such restrictions, you can also use our script with multiple models like this, instead of a single model in the data comparison. You need to keep these models under a single collection, and they must be named in a sequential manner. So the script will pick up the first model for the first data point, and likewise the second model for the second data. Let's now hide this collection, in the viewport as well as in the render, and we'll go to the camera view to look at the result. Now we'll execute the script, so let's go to the text editor that already has our script. But this time, we'll go with option 2 for the cluster pattern, which will give us a crowd type distribution. Once this is also complete, let's go back to the viewport to verify the result. So our animation is ready just as expected, and we can render the scene for an output like this. We have even converted this to an add-on, but before we go there, let me remind you that you can take our membership for this script and many other data comparison scripts that we have published on this channel. So here is the add-on that we made out of this script, it's very easy to use, but before we run this, we need to hide this collection that has all our models. It's actually part of our 3D data visualizer add-on that adds these menu items into Blender. We have various animation types available here, we'll go to EV and select the option Custom Models by Number. Then we have to first select the input Excel file, or the CSV file. Then for the flag pictures, we need to select the folder that contains our pictures, or you can also add them as logo, instead of flags, in that case you need to add them here. 
Then we have to select the model collection here, it is the same collection that contains our models. You can also select a single object here, if you want the same model for all the data points. We can also customize the floor colors, or the floor style, and similarly we can customize the color for the caption text and some other fields. Then we have two more options, we can go for the front view or the top view, and we can also change the cluster type here, between two options. Then let's change the animation speed, and finally run this add-on. We can safely ignore this message for baking, and go for a manual baking, and then render the scene. The output will be similar to this, and you can add your own background sound to make it more attractive, all the links are given below in the video description. So I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join us.